You're standing outside the Abbey Bookstore in the Latin Quarter. Um, it's the first day. How's it going so far? Well, we've actually had about seven people in. Mostly pick up books that they ordered from uh, before confinement. And uh, even though we'd stayed open a few days to help people get their books, um, a few couldn't make it then. So they, they were here this morning and uh, picked up those books. And we've had a few little kids in to go to the kids section. And um, there was enough time for me to put up my plexiglass protection by the cash desk. And um, it's, uh, it's a dark and stormy day, though. So I think it's a good day for people to stay home and read the books they've already got. I'm expecting more people shortly, though. Expecting more people. Brian, the allure of a bookstore is the fact that you go in, you browse, there's serendipity. You find something you weren't looking for, but you suddenly have this urge to buy it. Can you uh, have time to browse with the new rules? Oh, there'll be lots of time. You know, I, I think it'll be a while before we go back to our former levels of um, customer activity. Uh, so I think there'll be lots of space and lots of time for people to um, browse around. That may be, not be the case. I've been wondering if it might not be worthwhile to suggest to people that they, you know, take 15 minutes in the store at most and uh, I'll help them if I can, but that, uh, so we don't have too many people in the store at the same time and so people don't have to wait too long outside. Yeah, because That's, I've been in your bookstore, Brian, and uh, you've got books everywhere. It's very narrow. It is very narrow. So we've instituted a one-way passageway through the store so that people follow a bit of a circuit and uh, they can't go backwards. They have to just keep going in circles, I guess. So yeah, there are ways we can do that. And also I, I spent most of yesterday with a helper to get a lot of our overstock down into the basement to give people a little bit more room to move about our usually very crowded aisles. So course, that's part of the charm and I hope it doesn't lose that. Yeah, this is, this is a key moment for small businesses. Yeah, everyone's uh, making a sacrifice and um, I, uh, I fortunately was able to make use of the time during COVID to catch up on a lot of paperwork, administration, so forth, and I'm sure a lot of my counterparts did as well. I know some of them all actually have been taking advantage of the time to do uh, works and improvements inside their stores, and that's a sign of confidence that they feel their business is going to, to, to weather the storm fairly well. In my case, um, despite the gilets jaunes, despite the transportation strikes a few months ago, um, we had a, a pretty good surface. We've had a really good year and a half or so, and um, so we've been able to coast on that. Plus the 1,500 euros from the government doesn't hurt. So um, we're, we're, we'll be okay for a while. On a longer term basis, you wonder how this is going to influence all of the expats and the, the tourists who are often make up uh, a large part of the business during the, not just the summer months, but any time basically from Easter until um, Halloween. Yeah, there's not gonna be any tourists in Paris this summer, it seems. Brian, one final question for you. Uh, do you get an early sense of the trend? Do people want to read, we talked about Camus, Le, The Plague. Do people want to read uh, books about confinement or do they? is it completely the opposite? They want to read travel books instead. Uh, I, I'm expecting actually a resurgence in the interest in travel books. One of the reasons we don't sell a lot of books about travel writing in Paris is because so many of us are travelers already and we don't need to do that much armchair traveling, but that's going to change. So I'm going to concentrate on beefing up that section a little bit. And at the same time, I think people are going to want a little bit more escapism, a little bit more romance and a little bit more adventure in their lives to, uh, to as a sort of remedy to the confinement we've all been going through for the last two months. Brian Spence, many thanks. Best of luck to you. Merci beaucoup, Mr. Picard.